rather than just floating within the middle of the paper. And now I'm going to use a couple of different colours to start to add just a few uh, extra highlights and regions of detail on the animal. So I'm starting with some iridescent antique gold. And I'm just going to very lightly feather some of that over certain areas of the animal's coat. I'm not going to do too much, but it does provide a lovely contrast with the blues and the darks. And I'm going to use that colour to pick out where the light is catching the hairs around the edge of the animal's ear, just on the, uh, on the left ear there. Now I'm not going to do that all the way around, I'm going to change the colour as I get closer to the head of the animal. But we will use the same gold in just a couple of areas on the top of the head. And I'll do a touch on this ear as well. We don't want too much. Next I'm going to a light blue violet marker. Again, just to pick out a few little areas where the light is catching. As I mentioned right at the start, there are some folds in the in the skin of the animal, uh, in the neck region here. And I'm just 